Hey, hey everyone, Maggie Nolan here from Living Radiant Photography. Um, I am an educator, a photographer, a mom, a wife, and a lover of Chick-fil-A. I am coming to you from Chick-fil-A at the moment. My son Zeke is in the jungle gym, so I figured I'd go ahead and get a video out this week. Today, I am sharing all about shooting an outdoor ceremony. We shoot 30 to 40 weddings a year. Most of them are outdoor ceremonies, so I'm really excited to share with you kind of um, our process, how we get the shots that we get, and all of that. So, hope you enjoy this for sure. Okay, so to start off, when we show up to ceremony sites outside, we first want to figure out lighting, see where the sun is, and figure out the best way to photograph the details without guests at ceremony sites. So in the first 30 minutes before ceremony, Patrick and I are going around getting details from signage to floral arches to programs, anything that's there pre-guests touching it. Once guests arrive, we sometimes photograph those things again just to get the sign in the context of the ceremony. Special moments are recorded during ceremony. Sometimes we'll go around the backside if we're avail uh, able to. Obviously, in churches, we're not always able to do that. And then capturing moments like laughter, first kiss, verticals and horizontals of that are always great. When we do photograph ceremonies outside and we have the ability to move and have the freedom to get different angles, something that we always do is get angles from the back as well as side angles of family members, uh, bridal party walking in, groom's reaction, it just depends on the moments of ceremony, but those obviously there's ones that you don't want to miss. Okay guys, so the last part that I want to talk about is photographer's placement. So I shoot alongside my husband. Um, we have different roles on wedding day. During ceremony at the start, I actually start down by the mother of the bride um, where she's going to sit. And the reason for that is because I document everyone coming down the aisle at the beginning of ceremony. Patrick is at the back. He's getting them coming in from a you know, coming out of a building, walking towards ceremony site. Um, and then he also gets the reaction of the groom seeing his bride for the first time if they didn't do a first look. Um, from that time, um, I normally clear and move out once I get bride walking down the aisle with her dad. The rest of ceremony, Patrick and I are tag teaming from the back and sides, getting parent re uh, reactions, getting uh, wide shots of ceremony. We call it the U. The U is basically... Um, are the, the, the shape that we walk in um, from the left side of ceremony to the right side of ceremony, allowing us to get lots of different angles, reactions of guests, reactions of parent, reactions of bridal party, and ultimately bride and groom. At the very end of ceremony, we both are in place for first kiss. One of us is low, one is high, one of us is shooting wide, one of us is shooting tight. Um, and then every couple that we shoot, we try to stop them at the back of the aisle so that we get a picture of them with all their people. Well, that wraps up this YouTube video about how to photograph an outdoor ceremony. I hope it was helpful. Feel free to leave comments below, ask some questions. Uh, we'd love to give you guys some insight, advice, feedback, whatever you need. Um, but yeah, have a great day. Thanks so much. Check back next week.